Hello and welcome back to Expeditions, a mud runner game as we jump back into Arizona and our expeditions there. We are still locked into the Arizona government jobs by the minute, by the minute, at the minute. And uh, our next one is in order to preserve. There is a unique building in the region. It was built a long time ago and is now gradually falling apart. We want to preserve it as long as possible and make it a tourist attraction. Let's start by monitoring the weather in more detail so we can have time to react. So for this one, we need to take a mechanic specialist with us, a portable uh, meta station, so a portable weather station, two of them. Difficulty easy, about 800 kilometers off-road truck and height differences. So this sounds like a job for the Tuz. Our rewards will be a specialist, a hydrologist, Anwar Farsi, the oh module warehouse will be a store more items by the looks of it. Could be handy. Um, emergency reserves medium upgrade. We've purchased that, so I don't know whether what vehicle that'll be on, but maybe it'll be for the um, who should we flick the uh, the tells if that's what we use. And it will open up an outpost, the gateway to Coconio. Bonuses take less than 100 damage, take less than 50 damage from tire swap. Okay. Uh, recognize at least one unknown point on the map. Now, we've not, unre we've not recognized a single unknown point, apparently, while out on uh, expeditions lately. So, we'll see how that goes. We'll take our Tuz. Where are you? There you be. Now. Liquor paint. We've not, we've not switched the Tuz out on colours, have we? What we got? I like a bit of blue. Oh, shame is red. I want that red to be yellow. The old Spurs colours then. Black and green. Something with a bit of orange. Not sure about the red. It's not important, I know. We'll just go with we'll go with that. Let's go with it. Right. That's not the same as it was, is it? <laughs> After all that. Um ooh, let's see, do we have we have a new front from a previous jobby, I think. So that one, heavy. So big reinforced, uh Heavy reinforced bumper that provides great crash protection. This provides out look at the size of it, outstanding crash protection. So we'll sell that. Beast. Gone full beast mode. Sun visor. Extended sun visor. We don't do a lot of in cab, do we? Considering how much I normally like in cab, we do not do any. I think sometimes we just need to see stuff. Uh roof rack. Got the roof rack. On the rear. Oh, what's this? Rear mounted. Uh, complete seat by the water to get that one. Uh, uh, other miscellaneous bolt on fenders. Oh, they'll protect us. We'll have them. Yes, please. Yep, yeah, protect the environment. So that's the one, and we'll get the medium reserve for this for free. It'll give us more fuel and whatnot. Uh, engine, gearbox, high range. I don't want. Suspension. Be nice to get crawler or lifted, but this this sits pretty high anyway. Uh, we've got UODs. I'd like some UOD twos, please. Bear claw and continues to the research, so that's quite some way away. Although these are out in the open to find, that'd be nice. Extended winch. Have got any one longer? Engage with diff. And the snorkel is on. So we are good. So we need to take with us two of those. Don't think we need to take anything else. I think that'll be fine. We've got fuel, we've got parts. Yeah, I think that's us good. Um, inventory, we will take some of those though. And we want our uh, mechanic, Mike Nixon, uh, 
plus five supplies limit, 100% setup radius, and minus 30 damage except wheels. And he's going to cost us 600. So again, this oh, is a 700 pay payment that we're using, and then 2,600. So it's a little over three grand we're forking out on this one. And it pays us just under five, so we don't want to mess it up. Oh, we're going. This is back where we were before. This is, isn't it? Is this it? That may well be, because that's the. Oh, the truck stayed. I think if that's the same spot, I don't think it is actually. Because <laughs> it would have been more visual, wouldn't it? It's all in the. All in the dark. Is this the same spot? It's not. Where were we before then? Where was we before? We were over there. Looks like the fallen truck has reset. Okay. Hmm. When free roam comes. Once free roam opens up, we'll have some fun with that. Right. So we've got, by the looks of it, two extra jobbies here. And we've got supplies. So we'll just trigger these so that they they come up for us. Oh, we've got some extras over there as well. Uh, show task. Uh, this area can get pretty rough. I can show you the ropes around here. Let's take a ride. So new task, new old friends. So I guess it's much like... Wow, what are we stuck on? Um, going around and have little butchers. Like before. We've got an airdrop right here. Take that. And that. You take the fuel as well. You take the spare... Oh, we can't. We haven't got room for spare parts. So, we'll not be taking the spare parts. But I think... I should be able to sell... Those bones that we picked up. I don't feel like we're making much money because I keep buying upgrades and stuff. Right, so. Oh, we can sell, that's fine. Sell that, sell that. We got ten, ten anchors. Can we. We can't build a, like a storage here. We can't store anything here. We can have a workshop though. It gets 20 grand though, innit? It's a lot. I know we've got like 100 grand, but still. What's that down there? Oh, is that one of them? Bridge. A, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I think that's a bridge building exercise. I've seen those in the trailers where they put the pop up bridge down. Alright, let's go. It's a good job anyway. And an unsuccessful geo analysis. During the geo analysis work, our employee's car fell off a cliff because he forgot to put it on a handbrake. I do that sometimes. Help us. Uh, Evacuate the car to a flat surface for its further evacuation. Okay. Lots of that. Why does the. Uh, I just put it. All wheel drive you turn it off when I go read stuff. What's that all about? Now, again, is it morning or is it night? Find our 
way up. We haven't done a... Oh, so say we haven't done a scan, but we haven't done a scanner, have we? A metal detector. Okay, in order to preserve... It looks like a fork in the road. It's up to you where you go first. Portable uh, Meta Station 1. It's all called Meta Station. Uh, take a look at the tower. Well, that one's over there on its own. So shall we do that one first? And then we'll come back and do that one. That makes sense to me. It was me, uh, my mic's a little bit further away today. I'll just bring that in a little bit. Now we've got something else up there, so it's getting darker, isn't it? So. Let's have some daylight. Shed some light on the matter, as I like to say. Because I'm such a cliche. So, what's that? Am I supposed to do some body knocks or something here? Oh, yeah, there we go. Object discovered. Airdrop. the old tower installation site I guess it's not going to give me that one but there's uh, a drop over there perhaps it's just a little bit too far away Anything else? Just gonna get over that. Uh, I don't think we'll get through there. We'll uh, see if we can. Oh, we can go any edge. I was gonna say see if we pull ourselves over a tree, but I think we can get through here. No worries. Right, so this is where we're dropping off our first weather thing. Deliver some supplies. Uh, portable meta station deliver. Oh, I've got a little animation on this one. Okay, pretty cool. We did that. Where is it? It's over there. Nice. So that's all part of the map that we can visit, that is. It's all part of our Grand Canyon trip. Giving us King of the Mountain up here. Now, what if I put the drill now? What if you could anchor yourself across that and just razz along the plateau? There's nothing up there, but it would be cool. Have you got anything popping up? Like when it says, you know, find new locations, undiscovered locations, we do look. We just don't find. Right, so let's go to the tower. Steady along the ridge. Sometimes these trucks, as we've uh, sort of seen, tend to want to go where they want to go and not where you always want them to go. So, 
guess we're going up. Uh, just underneath where that flag is, the, the right hand flag. Looks like a sloop there. We'll tackle from there, I think. And make our way up. Possibly. Oh, actually, I don't know, actually. It doesn't look like we can get free from there, does it? I think we go back to the centre. Sort of where we triggered the initial walk in the road path. So Rusty, one of the guys uh, in my community, commented on uh, one of the early videos where I said I felt like the game was a bit more stable than SnowRunner, and he was concerned whether I meant, like, was it nerfed and, and, and too easy? I don't think it's that. I think it's more of a case that they've gone, because it's a, a MudRunner game, it's gone more MudRunner mud runner physics, and I think the smaller vehicles generally seem a little bit more stable. And the larger ones, I know this isn't a big one, but as they get a little bit bigger, they feel a bit more wobbly. I think that's more of what it is. So I'm assuming if we get to a larger truck and we start trying to do things, it's going to get a little bit more rolly. I think the only way that it's made it easier is with the new functions of having the jack. But I think because, unlike maybe Snow Runner, or even Mud Runner, where you had quite a few vehicles out on your map when you started your expedition. With this, some, quite often you only have the one vehicle, unless you've decided to stick two or three vehicles out there, and by doing that it would cost you more for your expedition than what you're going to recoup, because you've got to put your supplies in and stuff like that, so... I think the only thing that's may possibly made it easier is the, uh, the self-recovery jack. I think it's a nice feature. The fact that you have a limited capacity as well, and you only have two of them, and so if you wanted to take the jacks and just like forever be lifting yourself, then uh, obviously you wouldn't be able to take anchors out. All part of that swings and roundabouts type thing. So this is our other weather vane sort of thing going up. And that is our expedition. So that was, that was a pretty easy one. So we'll take our reward, and that is opened up a gateway. So we can visit somewhere else by the looks of it. But we are going to continue because we did get not that one. Um, unsuccessful. Where is that? Where is that truck? So if we do that, we are there. Where is their truck? that one it's miles away all in truck oh yeah we're not getting there are we how are we never gonna get there so what can we do what jobs have we got what's this down here river that's a contract so we can't do that tasks air delivery Find an airdrop to supply. Optional, find the equipment at market with a light beacon. That's not near us. Other oh, river crossings as well. Old new friends. Oh, perhaps that's what that was. So if we go here, we could get that one. And then we'll go try and get that. Let's see if we can do this. Let's see if we can get two jobbies in on this one. Since we didn't last time out. I think we only did the one if I remember rightly. Because we couldn't get the, uh, the truck back. I'm sure we have a quick uh, scout the area. See if there's anything behind us. Oh, caught on the tower. Because that upgrade before was like hidden behind our base camp, wasn't it? So there's an upgrade out there. It might be somewhere crappy. How do we get? Like, there was an upgrade 
not an upgrade, but an airdrop on there. We sort with our binox. How do we get on there? Oh, we get through down there. Okay. Interesting. It's going to be so fun exploring this place. I think, unlike with Little Colorado, we're going to have a few, a few trips out where we're just free roaming and, and, and doing stuff. Because I don't think it's always going to be possible to do an expedition contract and like grab a task contract or something. I'm sure some of the expeditions are going to get longer and bigger anyway. Because these are all still same easy. To be fair, we're still learning some of the mechanics, aren't we? With the scanning and the drone and stuff like that. So where was the other one? Over that way, wasn't it? Way off. Up there. We packed ourselves some fuel, so we should be okay for that. Um, way down, please, someone. Over there. Oh, 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 oh. We don't want to take on too much damage because that will count against us when we go to finish the expedition. We'll uh, do what we can. I'm trying to progress us through that through the game and show you as much as I can without making like stupidly long episodes. Because I know people aren't always going to stick around for them, or ever going to stick around for them, so... I'm doing what I can. Oh! The saving and the lagging. Let's check that this is where I want to go. Up there. Yeah. Because that's the quest given spot, isn't it? It's quite some trek by the looks of it. Must be some airdrops along the way or something for us to interact with. That's quite a, quite a trip now. Everyone get their eyes peeled. Oh, oh wait, yeah, there's one of those, a red square, as we'll say, for boxes, but there's a square. See what it's got for us because we've got space now because we've used up what we were carrying out. So if it's got some scrap metal or some, some bones, there we go, a bit of both, and some extra anchors as well. Now we can take the fuel and we can take some more spare parts. Oh, love it, love it. Okay, excellent. Now we're fully loaded, locked and loaded, my friends. Stonks. Now I'm sure it does, but I haven't felt a great difference in the vehicles when they're fully loaded. So I don't know how weight is working with these. I'm sure there has to be something. The guys have always been pretty good with uh, weights. I'm not going to drive. Is that another? Oh, I just think it's a bridge over there. I was say, is that another box? I don't think it is. Let's go around. I mean, I'm sort of guessing the way now. I haven't checked the map, but this was all blackened out, wasn't it? This was under the fog of war.
and it certainly looks like better terrain up here than down in the swamp, so that's why I'm taking it. Go on over there. I think the I think the weight is making a difference. We we're we're not as agile going up and over things at the minute. Oh, I think we got bridge built. We got bridge built. How does that work? Seen it in the demos. Or in the trailers, but right, deliver supplies. Your spare parts, 250 spare parts. So it's required 75. Hold X to deliver them all. Boom. Sweet, we made our first bridge. It's a new little one. Let's come out of the back. Nice. Nice. I like it. Where to next, Batman? Got to get up there. Is that a better route? Shall we? Just stop the engine and uh, crack out the drone. See if there's anything else about as well. Oh, else on the other side. The distance on this is great, is it? So where are we? We're there. So we've got to go this way, over. Maybe anchor ourselves there or test the water. And there's our route up. Possibly round the back or round that side. Cool. Doesn't look like there's any more supplies though. Plus to move. Down in the mud. Should be able to bump up that lip. Cool. I thought we would have bumped up that lip. There we are. Possibly could have gone through there. Look, this, this, it looks low enough to have gone through. We've not, not done much through water, so we'll see if we can uh, through risk it. So that's, that's clearly like an anchor job and just pull yourself across and off you go. But then there's water still the other side, so. Uh, device. That's shown pretty shallow there. We will. That's pretty risky. Oh, don't want that. It's a shame we can have it turned on, but or it lasts for longer just so you can oh, go away. <laughs> Because our snorkel isn't super... Oh, that's going to dip down again. Our snorkel isn't super high. Now, unfortunately, I think this is going to be a sell everything after this jobby as well because we've not got a storage spot at that base camp, where we uh, just came from. Let's see if we can get up here. Or not. Go on. Here we can. Come on. Not this again. Not this again. Come on. That's alright. We've got... Oh, no, I don't, want, I don't want that. That's what I'm trying to avoid, going that way. Uh, we've got a ton of these. We've got so many. Oh, that's my winch distance. Although that's still a lot further than we'd normally uh, be able to set one, isn't it? So, not complaining at that. No, 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 no. 
it's a good job we got a lot of these um, anchors. Some more um, bones. We've got remains here. Is this not a thing? We found stuff. I get my binox out, does it? Give me anything. Seeing things. We're a little bit close, to be fair. Nope. But yeah, some animal remains there, and there's a. I guess the totem is pointing us the way, isn't it? point in its um, paddle the direction to go so we'll go this way we shall do as suggested but yeah to save time once we've, we've finished this I'm not going to drive all the way back anyway so we'll, we'll end up selling all this at the end of uh, our expedition Another pick up here. So how do we? Um, don't need any of that really. Take the fuel. Always take more fuel. Think kindly, and we'll take your bits. Because we can sell it. Up here. Is that doable? Possibly. Oh, good one, lads. Oh, you absolute monster. You absolute monster. Now, where do we go? Out the way here, where do we go? Up over there, right. <laughs> what a beast. I like it, because in Snow Runner this is considered, you know, a pretty crappy little truck. There's the Tuz. It's not like a game winning truck, but this being our our only option. Go on, get some traction. Okay. So I'm just gonna put that back again because I don't like having it down there. And then we'll drop another one of these <laughs> massive stocks of anchor. There we go. We're off. The way these tools open up your chances to explore and to, you know, traverse terrains and do is just awesome. Absolutely awesome. I'm glad they've done it. I'm sure some people will say it's made it too easy, but you have to manage your inventory and you have to manage to take them. It costs money, so you have to manage your finances. And there's very little in this that is free. You're paying for everything all the time. Even though we sold them trucks, like our money is dwindling. Every expedition, our money is dwindling. Task completed. I think I managed to show the most basic thing. Now you uh, don't have to worry about it. You yourself are not badly orientated here. I don't, that does not make any sense at all, but we'll take it. It's nearly nine grand, so after saying we make no money, we've actually made some decent money here. And that has gotten us. So we saw that. We've got here, we saw that. What's this? Oh, that's another route. Oh, that's given us a ancient knowledge. Okay. 
like that. So we've got two trucks to recover. We need to get them from there. So we need a jobby to start us from over there, really. What's this? Oh, new friends. Yeah, we have to do some... Some... Um, who should be, for example? We have to do some free roam when we can. Nice. But that is going to be us done. So let's get jump back to the pause. Because that's, uh, that's another good... Probably 40 minutes. But up oh, 29. So half an hour plus my rambling at the start. So yeah, probably run about 40 minutes. And that's 18 grand. That is a good, good job. That's a good haul for us. Selling lots of stuff back. I know it's half price on some of them things. But we paid for five and got ten. So we, we actually made a lot of money. So let's head back. And once again, that is going to be it for a, another episode. Another expedition in the bag. That's four in Arizona now. Plus, I think we've ticked off three extra tasks within the map so we're getting somewhere we're making some moves baby uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have give it a big fat thumbs up down below if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn the bell notification on find out when new videos are going live as always comments and feedback down there you guys have a wonderful day and hopefully i will see you again very soon bye bye